applause, make a lot of noise for Candy Rodriguez! Uh, hey, so yeah, Merry Holidays. I am seven months pregnant. Any, any moms in the audience? Any moms? Yes! Thank you for coming. I know what it took for you to get here. Um, so yeah, I have the pregnancy brain that's like going on full effect right now. For those of you who don't know, pregnancy brain is a psychological phenomenon that happens to pregnant women. Uh, what happens is your, your hormones burn off your IQ points. <laughs> No, it's true, this is real. Uh, it, it, bur it makes you stupider, your hormones make you stupider, so you feel more for your baby. Yeah, that's true, because that's always been the problem with moms, is we don't feel enough. <laughs> right, you're always asking your mom, mom, please, have an opinion, right? Um, and I, I, <laughs> I, I really love this time of year, though. I, I really love competitive sports. Uh, you know, the football, basketball, parenting. <laughs> oh, it's competitive, <laughs> and it's a sport. I have a two and a half year old son also, and uh, I really love to pit him against other kids to see how he stacks up. <laughs> it's fun, uh, but you know, when you're, you're jousting with other moms, you always gotta be careful, because you never know when another mom will take you into the ring. For instance, uh, I asked my girlfriend, my, she's also a mom, I asked her, I was like, hey, do you wanna go to dinner on Tuesday? And she's like, well, I can't Tuesday because I'm taking Debbie to her dance recital. Cool. Yeah, she's three years old and can do a perfect pirouette. <laughs> so, oh, God! Well, I actually meant next Tuesday because Roland is on the t-ball team and he's a natural leader. Well, Debbie can read. My son can read in English and Spanish. Olé! Well, my daughter balanced her school's budget. Well, my son ran for student council and won. Well, my daughter goes to bed at 9 p.m. No complaining. Well, ah, shit, she got me. <laughs> my son no likey the bedtime. But you know, it's cool. I'm reading a lot of books. Um, <laughs> sorry. Because reading makes you a better parent. Couldn't say that without laughing. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, but I've done a lot of reading. I know all of the parent, you know, the four key parenting styles the permissive, uh, authoritative, authoritarian. And you would say, Candy, forget the books. And I would say, There's a book about that. <laughs> it's called uh, Forget the Books. <laughs> It's really good. Uh, but I take parenting really seriously, you know, because I have like a little boy, and um, he's a white boy. And, and how that happened? Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm Latina, but I'm a white Latina. I know. Um, and white Latinas, we exist, we're like pork. We're the other white meat. Uh, and my husband, he's Italian, um, German, white. So, so my son, he's gonna be a white man you know, someday, hopefully, and uh, you know, I just feel like we haven't like raised white guys so well the past 200, 300 years, so I'm ready. Like, come at me, bro. Entitlement, kick, what's this? White privilege, pew, 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 punch. Let me tell you. So, the other day we we're playing with our toy cars and he throws a toy car at me. And I was like, don't throw toy cars at me. He throws it again. Great, teachable moment. <laughs> if you throw the toy car again, I'm gonna take the toy away from you. Is what a parent who didn't read 35 books on parenting would say. But I said, <clears throat> baby, you need unconditional love right now. But also firm boundaries, limitations. We're gonna have to take the toy away so we can have mm, good, firm, bi-directional communication. Mommy loves you! He didn't throw the toy again. Actually, he doesn't do anything now. He just sits and stares at the wall and looks confused. <laughs> Lesson learned! <sighs> and I'm really lucky, though. My son, he's like, he's like a really kind kid. He's like a sensitive kid. I took him to the playground, 
And uh, all the other little boys, you know, they're being little boys. They're like throwing sticks and, you know, on the monkey bars and <laughs> throwing rocks. And one of the kids, he, he just like does this. He like, like kicks some dirt near my son, <laughs> near him, doesn't hit him with it. And uh, my son does this. <gasps> <laughs> he clutches his pearls. <laughs> says, oh my word, that's a lot of brouhaha over a cloud of dirt. I'm not Southern. No one in my family is Southern. I don't, I don't know. Mommy, mommy, I think I wet myself. Time for some new pampers. Now, come on over here and don't be stingy with the baby powder. And the moms came up, come up to me afterwards and they're like, wow, your son's really sensitive. Do you, <laughs> like, do you think he might be gay? And um, I was like, hmm, I don't know what being sensitive has to do with being gay. I don't know what your gay boyfriends are like, but mine will cut you to nothing in minutes with their words. They're built for tough, and my son? Yeah, but listen, this is real. If my son is gay, that would be, like for me as a mom, a dream come true. Seriously, because then I will be the number one woman in his life, always. Me and Cher. Book. It's really good. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.